This is Redman coming to you live from the Road Famous Comedy Store main room for a brand new episode of Kill Tony. Get up for Tony Hensclue. What the hell? What's up, everybody? Make some noise. You're here at the Comedy Store for the number one live podcast in the world. Brian Redman is here. Hey. The great Ryan J. E. Belt over there already beginning drawing tonight's episode. Right. We're excited. How are you guys doing? You pumped for this or what? This place is packing up fast. Everything's happening. And so are, uh, so are our YouTube uh, listeners out there. We are streaming hey. live on YouTube right now. Hello, guys. And uh, for those of you listening to the podcast or watching the live stream, fun stuff coming up. The 20th, 21st, and 22nd of September, we're in Lansing, Grand Rapids, and Detroit. There's stand-up shows and Kill Tonys for all of those dates. Uh, and then the 25th through the 28th of September, we are in Toronto, Canada, JFL 42. I'm doing some stand-up shows. And then on the 28th at midnight, you get your very own Kill Tony in a gigantic theater and I just found out, we just found out today, who the guest is going to be. And let me tell you something, Toronto. It doesn't get any better than who's going to be the guest that night, period. I can say that with no hesitation. Yeah, are you going to say who it is? I don't, should I? Yeah. Really? Yeah. All right. Get, hit something. The guest for that night, Kill Tony, live in Toronto, will be Joe Rogan. Wow. Everybody loves him. Brilliant, good body, great mind, Joe motherfucking Rogan. Uh, I'm doing stand-up in Chicago at Zany's uh, October 3rd through the 6th. And then October 12th, it's Kill Tony Mania. That's a big one. Two Kill Tonys in one night live from Cobbs in San Francisco, California. The first ever Kill Tony Mania. Uh, and then the 18th through the 20th, I'm at Comics Mohegan Sun, somewhere in Connecticut. So for those of you four listeners from that area, <laughs> buy fucking tickets, please. November 9th, Venus de Milo, a very fancy venue we're doing. Some real Game of Thrones shit in Swansea, Massachusetts, a 1,000-seat venue uh, right between Providence and Boston. And by pr between Providence and Boston, I am very aware that I'm lying to you, Bostonians. It's 50 minutes away from Boston and 10 minutes away from Providence, but why not get in the fucking car and buy some tickets? Uh, November 13th, San Antonio, Kill Tony in a stand-up show. The 14th, Austin, Cap City. The 15th of November, Houston Secret Group. And the 16th and 17th, two stand-up shows each night and a Kill Tony on the 17th. Holy shit. Hey, you guys want to hear something funny? November 29th to December 1st, I'm performing at a place all by myself called McGooby's Joke House <laughs> in Timonium, Maryland. <laughs> wow. I am, I have, I make no sense. I just, I, re I literally take pretty much every gig <laughs> that is offered to me. Anything that my agents or managers say, hey, we got this offer, I'm like, let's take it. Mm. You know, hiring used to be hard. Mm-hmm. Multiple job sites, stacks of resumes, a confusing review process. But today, hiring can be easy. And you only have to go one place to get it done. ZipRecruiter.com slash Kill Tony. ZipRecruiter sends you, uh, like, sends your job over to hundreds of people in the web's leading job boards. But they don't stop there. With the powerful matching technology, ZipRecruiter scans thousands of resumes to find people with the right experience and invite them to apply to your job. As applications come in, ZipRecruiter analyzes each one and spotlights the top candidates so you never miss a great match. ZipRecruiter is so effective, Tony. That 80% of the employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate through the site in one day. Wow, they find a quality candidate through the site within one day? With results like that, it's no wonder that ZipRecruiter is the highest rated hiring site in America. And right now, our listeners can try ZipRecruiter for free at this, <laughs> at this exclusive web address. ZipRecruiter.com slash Kill Tony. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash Kill Kill Tony. K I L L T O N Y. ZipRecruiter.com slash Kill Tony. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. Yeah, one of our best sponsors. They've been, yes. th they've been Make through. Make some noise for ZipRecruiter, everybody. How many of you out there own a company? Cla clap your hands if you own a company and have to hire people sometimes. Yeah. You, you do? Really? What kind of company do you own? CNC what? 
What the fuck's a CNC? CNC Music Factory guy. This guy's right using. <laughs> is that a real thing? <laughs> yeah, y'all ready for that? I have no idea what that is. Yeah. Oh, you know, uh, these kids are up to crazy things. I have no idea. I'm 34, Brian. Did you know that? Yeah. Did you know I'm 34? Mm -hmm. Young. Did you know 66% of men lose their hair by age 35? <laughs> Did you know that? Thing is, when you start to notice hair loss, it's already too late. It's easier to keep the hair you have than to replace the hair you've lost. At forhims.com, it's a one-stop shop for hair loss, skin care, and sexual wellness for men. You know, Tony, I'm 44. Wow. I'm 10 years older. Wow. Uh, <laughs> And when you get my age, you have a lot of problems. You don't worry about the hair. You're worried about down there. ED, right? Yeah. And a lot of you might just... <laughs> it's true. No, this is true. This is for hims.com. Really helps with yeah, this. Yeah. Like, instead of going to a gas station and getting some generic boner pill from Mexico, you go to forhims.com and you talk to a doctor on the website. You don't have to go to a doctor's office. That's embarrassing, especially when you don't have pants on. So, like... You go to this website, you get a prescription, like a professional prescription to one of, the, you know the name, but of an ED medication, so you don't have to go get the sketchy shit on Amazon that doesn't work. You can just go to forhims.com. No waiting room, no awkward in-person doctor visits. Save hours by going to forhims.com. And our listeners get a whole month free trial. No, it's not free. Fuck. <laughs> My listeners get a month's trial for hymns for just $5, five today. Dollars. $5 today, right now while supplies last. See website for full details. This would cost hundreds if you went to a doctor or pharmacy. Go to forhims.com slash killtony. That's F-O-R-H-I-M-S dot com slash killtony. Forhims.com slash killtony. You know what else is legal and fun? Infinite CBD. Yes. InfiniteCBD.com has capsules, vape juice, gummies. It helps with back problems, anything, headaches, and anxiety. If you use the promo code TONY15, you get 15% off any purchase. You guys ready to start this show or what? It's a real podcast, people. I'm sorry for that, but, you know. Ka-ching. Without sponsors, this wouldn't be true. We couldn't do this without sponsors. It's true. Know? Without sponsors, yeah. we would never be able to do this. Yeah. Ka-ching. Ka-ching. Uh, so let's just jump right into it. Every week we have two of the funniest human beings on this podcast. I am so freaking excited about this. Uh, I love these two. I love their podcast. Uh, you know them. You love them. It's their first time ever on Kill Tony. So let's give them a big comedy store welcome for the great Ethan and Ela Klein, everybody. The H3 Podcast. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. Here we go. I am so excited about this. I think you guys are the coolest. I oh. love everything Why? about you. Really? Yes. Why? I'm so Damn. pumped. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I love your guys' chemistry. Really? <laughs> yeah. You, remind, you guys sometimes remind me of me and my uh, Australian wife. I have an Australian oh, wife. Oh, exotic. <laughs> and uh, yes, indeed. And I think you guys are awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate it. I think you guys are great, too. You're, yeah. you're waiting for me to reciprocate, it looks like. <laughs> oh, no, I, I'll take it. I'll absolutely yeah, take I it. I love you guys' show. You guys are great. This uh, is great. A lot of fans are excited about this. This is like a, a really? big uh, podcast clashing, if you will. How many of you are podcast <laughs> fans out there, huh? Hey, <laughs> all right. God bless. God bless all of you. Thank you. I always love it when we have new guests on the show, and I'm pumped to have you guys here. Thank you. We're going to see a lot of crazy us. stuff tonight. We're going to meet some wild people. Maybe we're going to meet some normal people. <laughs> Maybe we're going to meet some of the future talent of the world. You know? Who knows? Anything can happen. One of my favorite parts of this show is that we have a band. And every week, the band plays different characters. They commit to the characters throughout the entire show. They're absolutely hysterical. I never know what they're going to do. Nobody knows what they're going to do. They've been in the back hiding all night. Put your hands together for the best damn band in the land. It's the Kill Tony Band. <laughs> Jeremiah Watkins, Joel Jimenez, and Chroma Chris. Let's see. What's it going to be tonight? Oh, my goodness. You've got to be kidding me. Looking good. Oh, wow, it's definitely pregnant women. Wow, wow, wow. wow. Jeremiah is pregnant with a tub of ice cream. Joel has pickles. Chroma Chris. This is incredible. Damn. Wow. <laughs> Jeremiah. 
really having to dig deep into his character to eat ice cream on stage. He's just trying to We've never seen this before. He's just trying to find an excuse. Wow. Jeremiah, what are you, 17 months pregnant right now? <laughs> are you okay, pregnant Jeremiah? What should I call you? Oh, Felicity. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, this is my seventh kid. Oh my god. Felicity, why do you have the same haircut as Gary Shandling? <laughs> same Baba. I love it. And then we have uh, Chroma Chris, who's clearly uh, pregnant Howard Stern tonight. Hua, hua. And then we have a, what appears to be a pregnant Mexican Oompa Loompa for some reason. Just because I'm pregnant doesn't mean I can't have a good time, Tony. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm here to put a dent in my baby's head tonight. Oh, oh, my God. Joel Berg is in the house. It, it's, uh, it's ironic you're making fun of us for being beautiful pregnant women when you look like an aborted fetus, Tony Hinchcliffe. Oh, oh come oh, on. Oh, oh, oh. How dare you? Share some of that ice cream with me. No. <laughs> my God. I didn't, I have never seen a 55-year-old pregnant woman before. Uh, they've saved my eggs four times already. <laughs> All right, well, this is going to be interesting to see how pregnant women commit to a podcast for, uh, for an hour and a half. <laughs> but last time I said that, you guys were the red hot chili peppers and fucking destroyed. Uh, so... Here we go. Let's get into it. I have an entire bucket filled with names. Uh, over, I think, 60 or 70, 50, 60, 70 people signed up for the chance. They're all over there. Hi, comedians. And then some are even scattered throughout the audience. Maybe it's going to be somebody's first time. You never know what's going to happen. You get 60 seconds on stage, and then I interview you afterwards. I can ask you anything that I want, and we'll see how honest of an answer I get out of you. The more honest your answers, the more fun this always is. 60 seconds, you'll hear the sound of a kitty. That means wrap it up then, or else you're going to bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. Whoa. Yeah, you feel I'm that? Terrified. Yeah. yeah, it's extra scary tonight for sure. Mm -hmm. You guys ready to do this? It's Kill Tony with Ethan and Ela Klein from the H3 podcast and a bunch of pregnant women. All right. Black helicopters. Here we go. Your first comedian getting an uninterrupted 60 seconds tonight goes by the name of James Richards. Here we go. It's not easy opening up this show. James Richards. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Do we already have oh, a no. blacklist? How does it happen? James. You know, sometimes I feel like people don't know when they sign up on the patio what room they're going to or anything like that. I always feel like somebody's waiting in another room to get called up. That was his one shot. <laughs> wow, he left just like the father of my baby. <laughs> what else is new? Wow, this is definitely a new name. I like this name. I'm excited to see what is about to go down here. Put your hands together for Frida Jamila Johansson. Wow. Here we go. From right in the front. And just to make it clear, it's Freda. Freda! Yes. <laughs> so, hi, I'm Freda Johansson. I'm from Norway, and I love America. Yeah! But, <sighs> yes, I do. Thank you. But what I really, really hate the most, there's one thing that I really, really, really hate about America. Sales tax. <laughs> <laughs> Not that we have it. But the fact that they add it after. When I go to a fucking store, I... Can I say that? Yes. <laughs> when I go to a fucking store, I want to know what the fuck I'm going to buy. Like, what do I have to pay? I want to see the fucking label on the shelf. <laughs> uh, You're hot. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Um, wow. Uh, there you go. All right, Freda. Yes. Oh. oh, my God. At least get that set to full term. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Greta, this was your first time on the show, correct? First time, yes. First time doing stand-up? Yes. Wow. Oh, wow. wow. Very cool. Nice. Nice. Thank you. So it's no secret you hate America. <laughs> I hate sales tax. You hate the what? I hate sales tax. I'm actually looking for a green card if anyone's available. Mm. <laughs> I like wow. men from prison and druggies. Wow. So. But I <laughs> okay. <laughs> What'd you say? You, you what? What was that last part? I like men from prison and druggies. You wow. like men from prison? Wow, you'd like the father of my baby then. <laughs> I know, right? Joel Berg. <laughs> so, is that true? You really like guys from prison? Yes, my first, not boyfriend, but first date ended up killing himself. Is well, that true? Wow. Yeah. Oh my god, that's like I a romance so. novel I'm reading right now. <laughs> I like to think of it as a really late abortion. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> how, how did he kill himself? Uh, he was a druggie. Yeah? Yeah. He overdosed. No. He Tylenol? Five months clean. What was that? Shitty person, though. He was a shitty person. Yeah. But it sounds like you're into that. And yeah. you said that he didn't overdose. <laughs> how did he kill himself? Honestly, I still don't know. Wow. Hmm. Mm. He, didn't, he didn't tell you how he killed himself? <laughs> no. <laughs> shitty, right? <laughs> How, how did you find out that he killed? How did you find out that your ex-boyfriend killed himself? Instagram. Instagram. Yes. R E P. R E P. He was such a good guy. <laughs> you no, did you say R E P? R E P? Yes, she's from Norway. Rest, Rest in peace. R E P. He might still be alive. This guy's <laughs> just trying to represent Freda. No wonder you don't know how he killed himself. He's alive and well. <laughs> wow, you're such an interesting character. I am. I know. <laughs> I'm actually an actress in Norway. Norway. Yes, <laughs> I am. <laughs> and we are off and running. Joelberg is already hitting full stride. <laughs> His baby just fell out. This is incredible. <laughs> Now, Freda, uh, how long have you been here in America? On and off for three and a half years. On mm -hmm. and off. Are we talking back about drugs forth. or America? <laughs> America. <laughs> three America. and a half years back and forth. Right. And you keep going back to Norway. Yes. Do you use drugs? No. No, not at all. You just like no. guys on drugs. Yes. <laughs> no <laughs> drugs, no drinking, no sex, no anything. You don't have sex? I'm a virgin. You're a virgin. Yes, I am. Mm. Yeah, mm. and I haven't had 19 <laughs> kids. <laughs> uh, why, why is it that you like guys that do drugs? I don't know. That you don't know? No idea. Huh. That's interesting. It's a specific taste, but for no reason at all. <laughs> <laughs> find that so intriguing about you. I guess I'm so good that I need something bad. Right, mm. sure. So good that you mm. need something bad. Oh, my God. Somebody <laughs> put a bullet in this woman. <laughs> uh, is, there a is, is, there, is there a reason why uh, you maintain your virginity? Is it just you haven't found the right guy? Or uh, is uh, it uh, like religious beliefs? No, I'm scared of it. You're scared of it? Yes. What are you, what are you afraid of? Being fucked and dumped. Mm. By the way, Did the butt counts. <laughs> I don't do butt stuff. <laughs> I don't do anything. I barely suck. And have you had sex with your ex-boyfriend who is a REP? -E <laughs> <laughs> no. Never did. Are you sure you guys were dating, by the way? Because you found out about a suicide on Instagram. <laughs> well, it was brief. It was brief. It was very, very brief. Of course, you don't have sex with anybody. Of course it's going to be a brief relationship. What are we talking card, about, Freda? Good luck with that green card. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. How, your, how are you planning on getting a green card if you don't have sex with people? <laughs> I right. don't know. You know, my friend there, she yes. always tells me I better put out, but... Yeah, she's right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely She's got true. good advice for you. <laughs> wow. And did she tell you not to come up here today also? No. <laughs> she's full of good advice. Yeah. I got fucked and dumped, and I'm still a slut. <laughs> did you always want to do stand-up? Oh, yes, always. 
Really? Yeah. Say it's it like my passion. You know. Your accent makes you See sound it. like you're lying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been my passion since three Absolutely. weeks. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, always. Since I was a kid. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm actually funny in my country, though. Just what, FYI. What, what? We don't understand Norwegian. <laughs> Go, to repeat it. I'm actually funny in my country. Are you? Can yes. you give us an example of a joke you would do in, uh, in Norway that would kill? It doesn't have to get a laugh here. Just give us an example. You know, oh, the waters are so choppy, am I right? <laughs> like that? <laughs> What'd you just, what? Say Whoa. <laughs> what? Could somebody please get subtitles for this woman? <laughs> <laughs> Say it again. Say it again. Freda, up here. I actually speak five languages. Really? Wow. None of them are fine. Well. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like you're speaking all five at once sometimes when you're answering these questions. Yeah, you're there, Tony. Wow. You know Klingon isn't a real language, right? Norsk är ett äkta språk. Whoa, she just told you to suck a dick. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking wish. I got well, uh, Freda, uh, I'm glad that you came up here uh, to, uh, to do this. Um, In a week I actually leave, so this is really big for me. Eureka actually leaves. In a week, I actually leave. Oh, mm. in a week, you actually leave. Yes. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Do you always dress like a Kleenex tissue box? No. <laughs> I'm 12. I'm a virgin. I dress like... She's I've obviously <laughs> clueless. <laughs> oh. No, that was two weeks ago. That was two weeks ago. Alicia Neverstone. No, you're still <laughs> clueless. Sorry. <laughs> All right, there she goes. Her first time ever on stage, Freda Jamila Johansson. Wow. We're getting this party started with a bang. Jesus. And by a bang, I mean that. <laughs> there she goes, right back to the front row. Hi, Freda. You'll get to see other people go up and see what you should have done. <laughs> She's having fun. She's smiling. All right, stop talking, you two. You're in the fucking front. Have some respect. All right, I pulled another name out of the bucket. Put your hands together for Willie Yum. Whoa. Willie what a Yum. Yummy. Wow, this should be interesting. Hello. Here he goes. Willie Yum, everybody. Sup, guys. All right, have you guys seen the movie Crazy Rich Asians? All right, I'm not it. Yeah, uh, so uh, but a little bit about, about me. I am 80% Christian. The other 20% is uh, aggression, so I'm 100% passive aggressive. That makes me a uh, Prius driver. And uh, so uh, since we were talking about suicide, do you guys know Anthony Bourdain? Yeah, yeah so I didn't know him on, until he killed himself, right? And uh, so he hosts this show called... Uh, the, the, the earth on something. What's it called? The earth unknown or something? Parts unknown. Yeah, right, the parts unknown. So I didn't know it. Right. So I watched the three episodes. And then afterwards, I emailed CNN. And I said, Dear CNN, I, uh, sorry about what happened to uh, Anthony Bourdain, but are you guys looking for a new host? Yeah, not, I mean, it doesn't have to be the parts unknown, the parts I know, like Chinatown. All right, that's my time. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Willie Yum. Fuck yeah. I like your style, man. Uh, one of my favorite things about you <laughs> that sets you apart is that uh, when you forget what you want to talk about, you make a loud, audible noise. Yes, I do. Yeah. <laughs> you, uh, you go, um, <laughs> like that. It's louder than everything else you do. It's very clear when you have forgotten something. Uh, Really hard to pull off a suicide joke when you forget it. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you know this or how uh, recently you came to uh, America, but Anthony Bourdain's pretty beloved. Yes. And uh, <laughs> saying you don't know what parts unknown is is like saying you don't know what a hot dog is in this country. All right, maybe I'm the only Anthony Bourdain fan in the room. Uh, so, Willie, last name, Yum. No, it's actually... <laughs> My God! It's, it's William, but I just spell it differently. My last name is Chang, C H A N G, but I didn't put it on there. Wow! Yeah, hmm. that's way less Asian. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> somehow, <laughs> somehow it's uh, more Asian. 
Uh, Willie, how long have you been doing stand-up? A uh, year and then three months. A year and three months. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> three months. <laughs> is everybody on this show tonight going to speak poor English? This is pretty incredible. <laughs> A year and three months. Man, you sure didn't yeah. rice to the occasion tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> One day we're going to have to put together all of Joel Berg's rhymes with the word rice every time some Asian right. person That's a compilation. <laughs> Joel Berg, I'm a horny pregnant bitch. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Willie. So you've been doing it a year and three months. How's it going for you? I guess so far so good. I right, you only yeah. forget things every 25 seconds. Exactly. So uh, obviously you're sharpening your sword. That's right, nice. absolutely. Not because you're Asian. Right. Um, <laughs> What do you do for work? I work at Equinox as a personal trainer. Wow. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I gotta say, for a personal trainer, I mean, I, you're not out of shape, but <laughs> I don't know. I don't see I those. I tell people what to do. So. Right. Okay. What, Tai Chi? Right. Yeah. <laughs> really? You're yeah. a personal What's, trainer yeah. at Equinox? Yeah, for Beverly Hills. Whoa. What do you charge? What's I'll your rate? Out, yeah. Goodness. He teaches my Lamaze class. <laughs> no, what? What's your rate? Uh, hundred bucks per per hour per session per, per hour. Session, you're right. per hmm. session. Yeah. Do you ever uh, f forget on that job too? Are you ever spotting somebody on the bench and you're just like, no. oh, <laughs> oh, what was I doing? Oh, well, Earth unknown. Oh. <laughs> Earth unknown. <laughs> My God, how dare you? How dare you, sir? So, Willie, uh, what... Uh, uh, is this yours, by the way? I just saw this was sitting here. It's you left a sword on the table. What is that? It's a samurai sword, Ella, and I <laughs> thought he may have left it here. People ever... Did they request you as their personal trainer? Like, how does that happen? Uh, never. Never? <laughs> no, uh, I don't know. So far, no. Do you so have a lot of clients? Yeah. Huh? Are, are you booked? Do you have a lot of clients? No, I just started mm. two months ago, so I don't have any clients so far. No. Did, so you are you? Oh. Hmm. Huh? Yeah. Does that make you a personal trainer or a guy that wants to be uh, a personal trainer? Well, I guess trying to be. He's hired okay. me, literally so. a personal trainer. It's, yeah. He keeps it all to himself. I'm it's a very personal. I'm a, yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> Hell yeah. I would be furious if they assigned you to me. <laughs> I'd be like, I'm, I'm here to strengthen my body, not my mind. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Wow. So, Willie, how long have you been in America? 28 years. 28 years. Yeah. How old are you? 39. Hmm. All right. Oh. So you yeah. moved here as an 11-year-old. 11. 11 yeah. Yeah. You're, I could, we all we, knew we you were better at math than me, <laughs> Willie. You didn't have to beat me to it. Uh, so what was that like? Where'd you come from? Taiwan. Taiwan. Yeah. It, uh, it's a big shoe factory, right? Uh, it's China. <laughs> China. China, yeah. What does, what's Taiwan famous for? Taiwan is famous for actually used to build everything that China builds now, but everything got pushed to China because in 1992 Bill Clinton signed a thing called MFN. Uh, most is it the nation. same as REP? <laughs> kind of different. So it lowered the tax rate from 40 percent to 8 percent. So everyone goes to China to manufacture and sells to America. So, so there you go. Taiwan, Taiwan is doesn't make anything now. So looking like China? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Man. So everything goes through China now. Pretty much. What yeah. do your parents do? Uh, my dad just be became a pastor. He just became a pastor. Yeah. How <laughs> 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 did you know his dad was going to be a pastor? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Personal trainer at Equinox. I had it already loaded up. A little fun fact. <laughs> oh, okay. That makes sense. A little fun fact. Uh, for all these years, Red Band, Red Band's. DJ mechanism only has two possible loads yeah. at once. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's funny because I'm looking at what the other one is right now, and uh, I don't know what you're waiting for. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but it's all right. It makes, I think, feel like it makes it that much crazier for the diehard fans of the show to know that sometimes when those timing things happen with Red Band, <laughs> there's only two possibilities. Like, right. it's hard work to load up one of those things. Yeah. You pretend like you've just like you have like a bunch of buttons like and one's like a dick and balls and you're like it's raining <laughs> man. <laughs> All right, that would be a lot easier. So what was your dad doing before he was a pastor? So he was in the in the military for about almost 20 years. Which side? Uh, in Taiwan. Taiwan. In Taiwan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and then he went from there into sales. Oh. I don't know what he was selling. 
but he was doing sales, and then he became a pastor afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> so how recently did he become a pastor? Four years ago. Four years Four, ago. Yeah, yeah. What do you think made him uh, make this change in his life? You ever ask him? Did you find out over Instagram? <laughs> yeah, Jesus. Jesus? Yeah. Well, he was a different person before. He, like, he was very militant. So yeah. growing up, everything has to go his way or just get out of the house, <laughs> basically. And like what? What was the most strict about with you? With me? Uh, so I, like, I was telling my friend, um, I, I lived with my grandparents until when I was three. And when I moved to move, live with my parents, I ran away when I was eight because everything was so different. And he's telling me to do this, do that. So I just ran away. Mm. Wow. Is yeah. your dad Pai May from Kill Bill? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Sounds like a real yeah. tough guy. He was. Jesus talks to your dad. Every day. Nice. Yeah. Do you know, know what, what he said they to talk him? about? Do you know what he said to him that got him into the, into the biz? Yeah. Be better to your son. Oh, apparently no, no. that wasn't it. <laughs> <laughs> you ran away when you were eight. Like, how do you? What did? What did you do? Where did I you just, go? I remember. I just remember. Um, cause er, so my grandparents they live four hours away, with by train. So I remember how to get back home, get back to um to their house, to their place. Yeah. So I just went to the train station, and then when I was there, I guess I was kind of tall. So they asked me, "What? Where are you going?" So I said, "I'm going." You said to parts unknown. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Wait, who said? Oh, yeah. Uh, are we listening to books on tape right now? What's happening? Yeah. Um, so. Oh my God! What very is interesting. Happening? So you took a four-hour. I feel like he's been okay. on stage for nine months, and I'm about to give birth right now. <laughs> so you're eight years old. Yeah. You're on the train. You're taking a train to your grandparents' place. Yeah. Wow. And you said that you're taller than other people? Is that because I you're Asian? Taller. So you at eight years old, they're like, let that tall yeah. kid through. So I said, I, I'm actually three, uh, third grade, so I'm buying this ticket. I'm doing this train ride every day, and I need to go back home. Can you give me the tickets? And they give me the tickets. Oh, okay. Wow, it's that easy to get tickets in Taiwan. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Willie. Well, uh, it was nice to meet you. Yeah, Congratulations sure. on everything. There he goes, Willie Yum. <laughs> Moving along. <laughs> Moving along with a little help from our friends. <laughs> you got it. I'm here for you. Fuck yeah. I pulled another name out of the bucket. Put your hands together for Scott Anthony. <laughs> Whoa. Someone else got up for Scott. Scott, Anthony it was your only chance. And left. Wait, here he comes, Scott oh, Anthony. Is. Oh yeah, he's just he's a slow walker from the dark side. Come on, everybody, put your hands together for Scott Anthony. All right, thank you guys. So, uh, uh, being 30 years old, I'm uh, dating now, and it's kind of weird. I feel like I'm at uh, a store like Ross, and I'm just kind of shopping around. Except nobody really shops at Ross. They just kind of sell where the fuck is laying around. Kind of hope it's going to be the right size. Hope it's not going to be too big. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> another thing about uh, dating at this age is you just don't have that same attraction to younger girls. I used to go to these parties, see these younger girls, see one, like, yes, you're coming home with me. At this point now, it's, I say the same thing, but when I see them, I'm kind of like, I want to take you home to your family, make sure you're okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so you know, another thing that's kind of weird, it's hard when you're dating when you're broke. I finally just met someone that uh, I have something in common with. She's broke, uh, but she's got money, but she's still broke. Uh, she's, uh, she's in a wheelchair, and she's paraplegic. Don't worry about our sex life. <laughs> wow. Wow. Bombing to the last second. Going all the way through it, just going through you it. You wanted to get it all out there. Yes. My goodness. <laughs> you are a, uh, there's something sort of scary about you. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the black. It's I've the, had no. thousands of people that I've pulled out of the bucket here, and very rarely do I describe someone as scary. And, it, and by scary, I don't mean you're an ugly guy or anything like that. I mean literally, like, I, can, I feel like, an aura of anger and <laughs> negative energy. Am I close to right about this? 
Uh, at one time, I was a little frustrated, yeah. You, you, a since, little frustrated? <laughs> since That's I what said you that. say when you kill a prostitute <laughs> and put her in your truck. Or I was play a little Madden. frustrated that night. Sounds like By a the way, for the you character. podcast listeners, since I asked him if he was angry and had a negative aura, a layer of sweat came up through <laughs> out of his forehead <laughs> that wasn't there before or while he was bombing on stage. Uh, no. He uncovered the truth. Scott, how long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, actually, this will be my second time on the show. I was the, uh, the dog trainer guy. We talked about dog trainer stuff. Mm. And uh, so this is, I think this has got to be my eighth time. I did a couple mics. I'm from San Diego. Uh, so after I, I got on uh, episode 279, and that one went wow, way better. Wow, I like how your better. answers are short and to the point. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're the only one that remembers that, Scott. I'm sure of it, too. I think so. <laughs> Episode 279. Not only are you a, uh, a participant, but you're also a fan. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so, Scott, what's going on with life? Are you still walking dogs? We're still walking dogs. Um, you know, we're still training them. None of that aggressive stuff. Um, I still have... Uh, my Michael Vick jersey in the closet. Um, so yeah, it's it's been pretty positive. Who's? What? What's in your closet? <laughs> <laughs> See, it's it's part of what Tony had mentioned before about some of that anger and frustration. So what I is in your closet? Yeah. I actually didn't hear what yeah, you said. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> I'm interested in now. I just I would no. I was just talking about you just doing dog training and that. Uh, He's not telling us what's in his closet. Yeah, what the uh, fuck no, did he no, say is in your closet? He said he had a Michael Vick jersey in his closet. Right. Right. Uh-huh. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Wow. Is that true? Do you really have a Michael Vick jersey in your closet? I do. It's deep, deep in the why darkness do you have the a Why do you have a Michael Vick jersey? You know, in case some of the dogs got a little out of line. I thought maybe it might set the tone. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Wait, you train, you train dogs that watch football and read English? <laughs> Awful. Scott. Uh, what's the uh, what's the creepiest thing you've ever done? Woo. Let's just get right to the point. Tell the truth. There's a boy inside the closet wearing the Michael Victors. <laughs> <laughs> deep, very deep. That's not a pass, though. We still need to an answer. Yep, it's true. Yeah, but Michael Vist, he never passed. So I mean, I mm. <laughs> sorry. I'm just going to continue bombing. I'm keep it. We're, like I said, we're going all the no, way. No, you're not. <laughs> Scott, answer the question I asked you honestly. What's the creepiest thing you've ever done? I don't think you can tell us. Damn, yeah. I, I feel, yeah if no, I, I tell you, the police are going to be here real oh, yeah, quick. Oh, yeah, I can hear the yeah. sirens. All right, sound, what's like. the 17th creepiest <laughs> thing you've ever done? <laughs> give me something here, Scott. Fucking anything. All right, give us and, 20. And, and give us 20. And don't try to make a joke about it. He, by the way, he's gripping the microphone so hard that it looks like he's uh, Jesus. churning that, butter. That, that's just the 99th creepiest thing he's done. <laughs> My last name is Smith, so churning butter, it's in the DNA somewhere. Wow, you actually tried to be funny again. It's unbelievable. <laughs> like, I mean, it's like just something. It reminds me of like the boxers that get knocked out or in the UFC fight, you see somebody get knocked the fuck out and then when they come to, they start like throwing punches. But they don't know that they're out and on the mat already and that the fight's been over for 25 seconds. Tony, I may be pregnant, but he's bombing for two. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, hopefully your delivery doesn't end up as bad as his is. We love you. We love you. Please don't hurt us. Yeah, definitely don't. (laughs) You don't own any guns, do you, Scott? No, no, no guns. Very good. No, No I'm going to stop you there before you try to make a shitty joke. Uh, <laughs> wow. Scott, uh, what is the most likable thing about you? What's something like a redeemable <laughs> quality that might uh, change all of our minds about you? Like something good that you've done? Um, I, <laughs> I, can, uh, I can say that I have held more puppies than anyone in this room right now. I can say that constantly. Well, everything right? just okay. goes back to dog it's walking. <laughs> I feel like this is one of those guys that like only finds any solace in dogs, you know what I mean, right. and fucking hates humans. The second part of that sentence is, I have also strangled the most puppies in this room. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at that. What? All right, Scott. Well, I'm not getting much out of you. Is there anything you guys want to know about Scott? You curious about anything? Well, it said you, it's your second time on stage? 
Uh, second time on Kill Tony, eighth time on stage altogether. Eighth time. Mm -hmm. I thought you had a good stage presence. You walked around, you strutted your thing, you know, you, you shaked your dick a little bit out there. <laughs> wasn't it, it wasn't funny what you said, but like you convinced me in the body language, so you're half the way there. <laughs> we'll take it, we'll take so it. That's pretty good. There you go, there's there a little advice. Yeah. A, little, uh, a little positive uh, reinforcement. There he goes, Scott Anthony, everybody. He's on Instagram at SAnthony21. Willie Yum is Where is Denzel? And Freda is Freda Johansson, by the way. And the other guy was blacklisted, the first person out. That dude's hiding something. He fucks those dogs or something. There's something, something going on. Yeah. Something creepy, right? Yeah. There's a, I don't know how to put it. I can't quite put my finger on it. But let's keep it moving along. Let's see what happens here. This looks like a new name. Put your hands together for Stephanie D. Stephanie D. Very simple. There can only be one. Stephanie D. Well, blacklisted. Oh, shit. Come on. People are just scared at this point. They think they're going to bomb as hard as everybody else. You ever break someone up here? Like, I mean, ever, you ever, give... Ever what? You ever break someone up here? Like... What's oh, yeah. the worst? Yeah. No, I mean, honestly, like, no matter how <laughs> bad they do or anything like that, I mean, they sort of just stay in the pocket, like what that guy just did. He was making jokes ride down to the very out, end, baby. right? He's yeah, just ride happy it down go lucky. Into the grave. Yeah, and, you know, yeah. So sometimes bombing on this show is still better than anything else these people have done in their lives. Sure. So, you know, <laughs> yeah. it's sort of a win-win situation. Right, sure, very good point. I like your optimism. Some of them, you know, know me, so it's sort of like, an, you know, it's a pleasure for them to get made fun of, and they're on a, you know, they're on this crazy, you know, historical stage that sure. all the greats have been on. So I look at it as a win-win, or a lose-lose. It really depends on how you look at it. This is definitely a new name. I'm excited to say it. Put your hands together for Avalanche Phillips. <laughs> Avalanche Phillips? Hell yeah. Come on, make some noise for Avalanche, everyone. What's up? How y'all doing? Yeah, I see it's a lot of see it's a lot of white people out here today. How you guys doing? Uh, I've been hanging out a lot with my white friends. Yeah, uh, I love the way my white friends get off the phone. I was talking to my white friend the other day, and white people got the best excuses to get off the phone. I was talking to my white friend the other day, he was like, "Avalanche, bro, it's freaking almost eight o'clock." I have to walk my cat. <laughs> Shit. I have to finish laundry, bro. I have to call you tomorrow. I was like, all right, bro. Talk to you, talk to you later then. Cool. Uh, my black friends get off of, black people get off the phone a little bit different. I was talking to my black friends the other day. I was like, hey, bro, what's going on? He was like, hey, bro, I'm about to walk up these stairs. We got to hit you back. Like, hold on. How is walking up the stairs? He's like, yeah, bro, I'm about to open up this door real quick. I got to call you tomorrow. I'm like, hey, we talking. We talking about taxes and shit. Uh, that's my time, Avalanche. Thank you. Hell yeah. How'd you, how did you say your name? Avalanche. Avalanche. Mm, yeah. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry to laugh like that, but that's okay. I thought it was Avalanche, but I guess if you call it Avalanche, Avalanche. Forgive me if I misunderstood, but was one of your jokes that you don't do laundry? <laughs> Because you said your friend's excuse was, oh, I got to do laundry. And it like, was like real excuses versus, look, bro, I'm about to walk up these stairs. Like, it's, right. I need a real so excuse. That, okay. <laughs> Basically. Right. You know what I mean? Uh, I got you. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Avalanche, do you only wear a sm size super small? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on there? And, and follow-up question, did I you know that if you wanted to, you could easily be a personal trainer at the Equinox in <laughs> Beverly Hills? <laughs> That is true. <laughs> that is true. That's great, man. White I, obviously, you can tell I don't do laundry, so that's back to you. So no, no this is just uh, just running running errands today. By the man. way, just white people stuff. are really good at tying their shoes. If you need some lessons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. Avalanche. That might be Hilarious. one of the worst T-shirts I've ever seen in my life. Thank you. I mean, I don't understand really what's going on there. Did you go to the store and ask for something that looks like <laughs> a, uh, a, a like one of those industrial paper towels? <laughs> it looks like what you wipe off the dipstick with at an oil change place. <laughs> exactly. <That's laughs> All right. He's lactating, Tony. Leave him alone. Uh, how long have you been doing stand-up? 
Uh, consistently, I would say the last three months. Oh, oh. my God. Bread ban. That is not how that works. Bread ban. <laughs> oh, my God. Consistently the last three months. Avalanche. Consistently. For three months? Consistently, like every night almost, she's mm. out here grinding, you know. You just keep repeating consistently, but I didn't hear the, I didn't hear the number. It's consistently. three months? Con I said consistently last three months, but like off and on for the last four years. Four years. Oh, okay. Three Tony. Oh. Con oh, okay. Three years consistently. Listen. Can listen. I ask a serious question? Yes, Joel Berg. Uh, honest question. Uh, you ever <laughs> fucked a pregnant chick? <laughs> Uh, no, and I don't think I want to, honestly. Would, oh, you wouldn't like to. Never mind. Back to you, Tony. <laughs> he has nothing to offer me. Nothing. Heck yeah. Uh, what do you do for work? I uh, work in real estate. Real estate? Yeah, yeah. Oh, what do you do? Uh, loan officer. Loan officer? Yeah. Where do, you, uh, where do you sell real estate at? The Green Mile? Okie dokie. Uh, sometimes you got to take chances. You know what I mean? It's an improvised show, people. Oh. It's a small shirt. Big, big, big. All right. Oh, my God. I am nauseous. That pocket is so little, I can't stop looking at your tiny pocket. It barely holds your, the, the silhouette of your nipple in it. Thank you. Do you ever put anything in that pocket? I'm sorry? Do you ever put anything in that pocket? Never. Never. <laughs> Just the nipple. A, a yes. little mouse when you were at the Shawshank. <laughs> oh, oh, God. <laughs> oh, Jesus. He made a Shawshank <laughs> joke, and the mouse is from the Green Mile. Yeah, that's the prison they're in. It's all the same universe. Oh, Tommy. really? Yeah. Is well, it Shawshank? I believe so. Since I've been Shawshank pregnant, I've been reading a lot of if, books. Uh, we're gonna <laughs> wow. Uh, I liked your set, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you for sure. Yeah, very fun. Just very throw that funny. Out there. We can tell that you've been doing it very consistently yeah. for the last few months. <laughs> very uh, consistently. You you said you wouldn't have sex with a pregnant woman. What kind of uh, what kind of uh, women are you into? Uh, women. All all shapes and sizes. Mm, that's a cop out. Come yeah. on, you have a taste. Yeah. No. Uh, just beautiful. Oh no, no type. Just you know. Really. Yeah, no preference. I love all What women. about uh, ones with no legs? Uh, no, just, you know, you ones with legs. <laughs> legs optional. What, what about women? Pulse with optional. I'm sorry, you got it. Post optional? Post pulse, op pulse optional. Pulse. <laughs> I don't, uh, like, living? Yeah, that's what I meant. You said all, so I don't know. I'm just trying to no, see just, where your you boundary know, lies. I, I mean, I don't know where you want to go with this, man. I just like beautiful women. Anything that's... <laughs> Nice looking woman. I'm just a regular guy that likes like women like you do. Damn, you're like trying like. to get laid right now. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Me too. I'll spread them again if you want some. It's like dead women. You ever have sex with a Black. Norwegian virgin before? Can I? Oh, there That'd you go. That'd be pretty fun. Can I just? Can I? There will be blood. Can I just say black women right here? Because she's waving right here. The black, I like black. Because she's waving. Like you better say me, baby, right here. Oh, that's Aphrodite over there. Hell yeah. You ever have sex with a uh, an African queen? <laughs> of course. Wow. Yeah. There you go. What do you like to do for fun? Uh, on it, uh, play ping pong. Wow. Wow. Oh man, that that pocket's the perfect size. <laughs> Dude. How long you been playing ping pong for? Like since I was like six. Consistently. <laughs> since six. Are you like Forrest Gump style, like that good? Or? Literally, like probably. more like Bubba. Pro probably. <laughs> <laughs> oh Wait. my God, I can't do it either. Okay. I wish I could joke. Can I throw some jabs back? Or is can that you what? Can you throw jokes back? Hell yeah! Oh you fuck, can. I didn't know. Oh, I just yeah. said, as, as long take as it. as long as they're not like Scott Anthony's, you can throw them back. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> All right. You you do you have one or will you just ask? Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm just looking at your feet right now, trying not to throw up, really. Like. Oh, shit. Your feet just got fucking <laughs> roasted. Damn, you got roasted. Damn. Oh, Damn. shit. I literally... <laughs> Jeremiah you? Oh, is oh. in full character. He is bare feet, and to uh, stay committed to character, his feet are disgusting and swollen, like an actual <laughs> pregnant woman. So, for you podcast listeners, Avalanche is right. Am I saying it right? Like Avalanche, yeah. Avalanche. That's right. 
Are you a he feet has guy? Heel, he has heels on the side of his feet. Like, why are your heels <laughs> on the side of your feet, bro? It's really hard to <laughs> roast a person's feet. Uh, are you a foot person? Is like, do you have a foot fetish? Like, no, I'm just trying to get away from these, and I'm trying to like scoot up a little bit. But no, I, no try foot harder. <laughs> no, no foot fetish. Avalanche, do uh, you ever think about playing ping pong uh, professionally? Nah, just like to do it for fun. Right. Yeah. Hmm. So do, do you ever take? Have you ever taken like a date to see you? You ever show off your ping pong skills? Of course. Really? Yeah. yeah. Does that work? Yeah, it works. Because mm. they don't think I'm a black guy. They don't think I'm play ping pong. It's like kind of like weird a little bit. They don't like, think yeah. you're a black guy. Your skin color changes when you play ping pong. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said, like, damn, he's so good. Because I'm a black guy, they don't think I play ping pong. You know? Do you have any more foot jokes? <laughs> I'm thinking right now. Yeah, I bet you are. <laughs> you look like a football player who got cut on ballers. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you just got lit up by a pregnant lady. Hello. Right. <laughs> I love how deeply Don't into their soul Jeremiah stares when he when he's offended by something. Don't stare too long, you might fall in love. <laughs> <laughs> Try not to. Yes. You can, uh, together we will be Wakanda forever. <laughs> All right. Mm, Avalanche. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. You had a great setup Thank here. You. It was nice to meet you. The, Thank you. The consistent work is definitely mm. paying off. Very, very. Sure. Good it set. Was, it was really it funny. It was nice to meet you. Really There funny. he goes. Tight sweatpants, small shirt, unlaced shoes. This guy's got style. There he goes. One more time for Avalanche, everybody. It's all happening. Man, look at that pregnant woman. She is fully committed. I love it. You guys having fun out there? Ooh. You get it? All right, this is a one word name. We love one word names on this show. Let's see what happens. It's Seth. <laughs> Seth. <laughs> Seth, everyone. Boy, that looks like Seth if I've ever seen one. Hello, everybody. I want to talk to you a little bit about perspective, all right? So when I was dating, I called up this girl to go out with me, and she told me, over the phone, I won't go out with you, period, which kind of hurt my feelings. Uh, but I thought about it, because she said it, right? So it wasn't in text. I didn't have any punctua punctuation. So I thought about it, and here are the two options I came up with, all right? Okay, so I'll give you a minute. I hope everybody can see it. Uh, but it says, I won't go out with you, comma, period, that's the hurtful one. Uh, and the other is, I won't go out with you, colon, period, which is an excuse. And I appreciated that. Yeah, I, I appreciated that. So it all depends on how you look at it, right? Uh, I'm married now. Uh, I've been married for eight years. Yeah, married for eight years. Not to this woman. <laughs> to a different one. To a different one. And uh, I realized after we've been married that she got into the relationship for very different reasons, right? Uh, she got into it because she looks at me as a group project. And... <laughs> Fuck yeah. That's cool. All you right. know... <laughs> Seth, Woo. some people are going to tell you that you did bad here tonight. <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. They're going to tell you that they're going to be on the internet, the comments, right. they're going to tell you that. The audience, they're going to tell you that. Yeah. Me, I'm not going to tell you that. <laughs> I fucking loved what you did here tonight. I appreciate that. Can I say I this? I appreciate I, that. I've never met a person more named Seth in my life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're the Sethest person alive. <laughs> Good. And by the way, Good. Ta tax season is coming up. I appreciate you yeah. taking time yeah. out of your <laughs> CPA gig to come here and You're yeah, you look, appreciate You look like I Googled stock photo of white guy. <laughs> <laughs> also, yeah. also you guys, cool. I didn't know Drew Carey lost so much weight. <laughs> Is the price not, is right. Is this not a gag? Do you dress like this? Are you goofing on us with this outfit? <laughs> no, this is... Is this your day-to-day? Uh, -day? Kinko's, right? Uh, no, this is what I wear when I perform. Mm. Uh, I was an attorney in North Carolina before moving out here. Ah. So Were you named I Seth put back these, then? Or? What's that? Is Seth come with the outfit, or is that your real name? That, that is my real name. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Do you still practice law? No, uh, uh My wife and I moved out here last August. Uh, she took a job, and so I'm home with the kids now. What did she now. do? 
She teaches uh, accounting at USC. She oh. teaches accounting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you stay at home with the kids. Yeah. Yeah. We've got three. Wow. Yeah. Wow. We just had one actually last week. Oh Congratulations. Congratulations. Yes. Look at you. Very, very cool. Yeah. I can't and believe your balls are operational. <laughs> did did the doctor amazing. give your wife an extra stitch? Uh, no, actually, no tearing. This no tearing. Uh, what, tearing. Yeah. Little, little small baby. Yeah, it's actually. Or a very big vagina. <laughs> yeah, well, it's third baby, third baby, so it all it all works out. She actually had it in our living room. It was unplanned. What? Wow. Whoa. I wish I didn't know that. Home it delivery. was unplanned? What, 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 what the is she? The pregnancy was planned. Oh. The delivery was unplanned. You put a tarp under there? How do you handle you that? You get on your Nintendo Switch? What yeah, she... Uh, she yelled Yahtzee and the kind of thing just happened. Yeah, yeah, basically. What, what made on her blankets and towels. What made yeah. that happen? Oh what'd, she, what'd she do? Hook up with Avalanche right before... <laughs> yeah. His dick's so big, he broke her water. Get it, people? All right. But I am genuinely curious. Uh, was there a cleanup process? Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, a lot of laundry. Bleach. Yeah. Stanley Steamer. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. This is actually yeah. Stanley yeah. Steamer right here. <laughs> there was a doctor. Never mind. Right. <laughs> I, I'm not exactly sure which one of the pet boys you remind me of, Seth, but it's definitely one of them. Sure. Uh, yeah. So, my God. That is incredible. You gave up law. Now you just keep making babies. Yeah. And your wife teaches accounting. What kind of law were you doing? Transactional work. Transactional yeah. work. With small, small businesses. Guess. Family owned companies. Now do you have to do that in its own bathroom or how does that work? <laughs> uh, no, I, I had an office. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Seth, you're the first person in Kill Tony history to take the mic out of the mic stand at 57 seconds. Yes. Uh, yeah, I you were really that. ready to get down to business. It was, it was a risk with the poster board. I understand that. So. Huge risk. Yeah. Huge risk. But you have to take them, right? So. Yeah, I mean, some risks you have to <laughs> take. Uh, yeah. But yeah, no, I understand that. I didn't really understand the joke. That's part of the catch yeah. with uh, if you're going to do something that elaborate, you've got to sure. make sure it's clear. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, uh, do you understand punctuation? No, no. Yeah. I, I understood Whoa. what you were that. trying okay. to do, but it, you lost me a little bit on the setup. Got it. If that makes okay. sense. Wow. Yeah. I imagine, like in parentheses after he said that, the word dummy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, oh, did you say this was your said, first I, time? Yeah, what? the tone of that was yeah. very of condescending. The of the very punctuation thing? Yeah. Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah. Do you feel yeah. it? Oh. Well, yes, I, I, I understand <laughs> uh, punctuation. Just a kick. Beautiful. Just a kick. I'm in the goddamn writer's <laughs> guild. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> you have a question? And, I, and I'm in the dick writer's guild. <laughs> <laughs> did he say, uh, did he say w w have you done stand-up before? I, I didn't hear yeah, that. Yeah, I've, I've been doing this for eight months. Eight, eight months. months. And have yeah. you ever done the poster board thing on stage before? Yeah. And has and, and anyone ever sense. given you like a clap for it? Or yeah. Or has it ever yeah. worked? Yeah, it's worked. It's worked every it's time. It's worked, yeah. Every time. Yeah. yeah. Every I, time. I've only done it two other times, but it worked. Mm. Where'd you do it at? Uh, your guys' favorite club, uh, Flappers. <laughs> <laughs> and at the Ice House once. At the I ice hate house it when once. people call that place a club. <laughs> it's so funny. It's so once at Flappers, but once at the Ice House. I did the like the Dave McNary variety show uh, on a Sunday evening, and it worked. Yeah. Ooh, the Dave McNary variety show. Well, you know, that's where it, that's where it happened. All right. Yes. Do you have any questions? It feels like a boys' club <laughs> up here. Um, have you thought about a new wardrobe? <laughs> uh, I have not, but I'm open to suggestions. <laughs> Anything. <Okay>. Well. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, you seem very stiff. I mean, your material is very stiff, but you seem very stiff on stage. I don't. You don't see a lot of comics, you know, dressed like that. They, you, most comics are dressed like down. They're actually wearing hoodies and shirts and stuff. They don't. I mean, it's, y yeah, I don't know. it's it's overkill. You're yeah. dressed already what your face looks like. Sure. Does that make sense? <laughs> All right. Well, you know what? Yeah. It, it could work, but you you put yourself at a you set the expectation high with that outfit. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, I have to like, be Damn, good. This guy needs to kill, uh -huh. or that outfit is killing me. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Okay. Groomsmen. Yeah, look. you got to maybe, maybe, you know, practice a little more, and then you can don the uh, Clark Kent. <laughs> have you ever right. shot an AR-15? <laughs> I didn't. What was that? I, have I just have, have you ever shot an AR-15? No, actually. Have you ever shot a gun? A BB gun. What's the toughest thing gun? that, uh, what's the toughest thing? In a Christmas thing? story, many years ago. <laughs> 
Yes. Wow. <laughs> Mrs. Watkins. <laughs> Felicity. That is good. Uh, what is the toughest thing about you, Seth? We're making jokes about what a soft yeah, you are. Yeah, there's really not much. Come well, on, there's got to um, be something. What's like something Lawyer is pretty tough. Yeah, he didn't. We did not work out, Ela. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's not a uh, lawyer anymore. I mean, I've shot crows with the pellet gun to keep them off of oh, my in-laws' Oh, you killed Brandon yard. Lee. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch. But no, I'm not a very tough person. I don't try. You to ever break the that. law? You ever jaywalk? I've <laughs> sped and jaywalked. Sure. You admit that? Yeah, I admit that. I know. <laughs> oh. it's, ah! it's Are you ticklish as fuck? Of what? Uh, what do you look? Like? Do you want to tickle me? Yeah, I mean, it, are you I mean, tickling? No. Generally, that question's followed by an actual tickle right. attempt. So, um, relax, Seth. No. Answer the question. I'm, I'm not that ticklish. You're not I that am ticklish, ticklish right, but not. Do you have a Vespa? I feel like you're a Vespa guy. No. Mm. So Sorry, when did, your wife's what's pegging your car? you, what car um, do you drive? Good what? question. What car uh, do you drive? We have a Subaru Legacy. Yep, 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 yep. yep. <laughs> there's, there's literally no other car yep, you could be driving. Yep. I mean, that's really, that's yep. a Seth mobile <laughs> yeah. right there. Oh, yeah, it Man. is. No, it suits me very well. Yeah, and then yeah, we have a does. Honda Odyssey because we have three kids. So, <laughs> of course. Oh yeah, you do. Yeah. All right, Seth. It's got laser well, uh, beamed. How old are you? Damn. I'm 31. 31. Three kids. How, do, how old's your oldest kid? Wait, I heard Sh- gasps when he said 31. <laughs> Do I look older? Anyway, uh, she's going to be seven in November. Seven. Why are people gasping at 31? Is he older than well, you think or he, young? He looks oh, yeah. a lot older because how he's dressed. It's, 60, a lot, dude. it's a lot of kids for 31. <laughs> 31. Yeah. Hmm. How old do you think you look? I don't know, 28. <laughs> I don't know. Do I look really old? Look at that know. laugh. Well, look at that laugh you just got. That's good. That's incredible. That's your new opening joke. Throw the poster board away. Yeah. All right. There he goes, Seth, everybody. He's on Twitter at STLawrence7. STLawrence7. There he goes. Back to his uh, role on the hit show, The Office. (laughs) Not exactly sure which character, but one of them. If you're wondering if he's a Mac or a PC, he's a PC. (laughs) (laughs) Did you ever have a like a dress up, like like a jacket? Did you ever wear something special when you were on stage? I did. I once uh, I once dressed up way too much for a comedy contest in Pasadena. I had just started stand up comedy. I mean, like weeks in, and there was a comedy competition. It was the only way to get on stage at the Ice House at the time. And I was taking buses. I took two buses wearing a shirt and tie all the way. I was just like yeah. Seth here, except I even had a fucking tie on. Oh mm. And uh, and I came in second place that night. Only a See, couple weeks in a stand-up. You, you wanna, pulled it off. You want to know what I won? Second place? A, a side of French fries. Yes. What? That is not Tony, a joke. Tony, you're not going to believe this. Once for a comedy show, I dressed up as a pregnant woman. <laughs> Yeah, but that's, that's, that's your passion, man. That's your dream. You love dressing up as a woman. We all know that. Killing it. Damn. Damn. <laughs> I'm surprised we've never seen Jolena pregnant before. Yeah, she gets abortions. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I believe we've had this person on the show before. This name feels familiar. Put your hands together for Kiernan Ben Coyle. Kiernan Ben Coyle. Here we go. He has a nice, steady pace. Here he comes. How polite. Put your hands together for Kiernan Ben Coyle, everyone. So I, uh, (coughs) oh, God. (laughs) I recently found out I'm attractive. Yeah, I found out because a stripper told me. Mm Mm-hmm. It was great. She was like, Kiernan, you are so handsome. You are so smart. You are so funny. You're likable. You're worthy of love. You're enough. And you're nothing like your father. (laughs) And I was like, Mercedes, I'll give you $20 if you just read from the card one more time. (laughs) That's all I need to hear. That's it. Kiernan Ben Coyle a good bit. Hitting the eject button a little early there. Yeah. How long do you think a minute is? I, th- I timed it out <laughs> and it was a minute and then I had my... That's a minute my, right there. 
my voice was all weird in the beginning, and I was oh man, even so I'm I cut it down a little even, bit. Oh, I, you cut it. I was gonna say even that cough couldn't really help you reach the no the no. Should have coughed a little longer. Uh, that was the best part of your bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was. It wasn't really. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't planned. The cough. No, no, it wasn't. No. Wow, I'm surprised. I would write it in. I'd, I would write, write it in. Write in the cough? <laughs> yeah. Definitely. You could just write it all coughing. I'm going to put that in my notes right now. Just cough, cough, I love cough. the oh God that happened after the cough, too. That was a good tag. Yeah. That was great. Oh God. I yeah. thought it was like a Trey Songs thing. I thought he was going to say oh God, then started stand up. No. Nobody listens Are to Trey Songs. Are you actually perfect. writing? <laughs> I write it this <laughs> yeah, let's, uh, yeah, let's see. Cow farts, global warming, billboarders change time, and then cough. Oh God. All right. It <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. What was that? I need to stop apologizing. Was that your set list? No, that was just I stupid shit I write down. <laughs> what does it mean? What did one of those mean? A cow farts is like, uh, there's this guy in Argentina who like, <laughs> damn, he <laughs> fascinating. <laughs> to you know, because cow farts all the methane they get in Tell the me air. more about the guy in Argentina. Yeah, yeah, he's he created a cow fart backpack oh. that turns cow oh. farts into energy, and I thought that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. That's yeah. a wonderful anecdote. So I, wrote, I just wrote it down. I just. Yeah. That was it. Kieran, I feel like you're if the last guy went into a time machine back a few years. I know. I'm. <laughs> you have no idea how mad I am that I followed him, but. I don't know. Okie dokie. There's uh, not a, we're not having good energy right now. It's all right. It's okay. It's you. It's, it's not okay. me. It's okay. It's me. I know. <laughs> I know. Here, here it's okay. In, uh, what do you do for work? Uh, in advertising. Yeah. No, that's yeah. always... The that's devil. Okay. The devil. Yeah, it really is. No, I feel terrible. I've yeah. done it. You have? Yeah. yeah no. I'm a Hate copywriter. So. And how long have you been doing stand-up? Seven months. Seven months. How's yeah. it going for you? Two more months. It's all right. No. Yeah. It's all right. It's all right. I mean, this was all right, I felt like. I, did, I didn't bomb, but, but it was all right. I got laughs. <laughs> He's like, it wasn't, right? It wasn't great. <laughs> it was all right. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's a fair assessment. Yeah, That's a fair assessment, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That definitely deserves a base lick. Yeah. 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 God damn it. I'm sorry. I'm d that was me, not you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I got it. <laughs> okay. Thanks for... For the record, though, appreciate it. it. Tony looks so angry right now. <laughs> no, like, look no. at how you look that's, angry, man. That's I just feel what Tony looks no. like. Like, he doesn't he look so angry? No, yeah, you're wrong. Sexual you're wrong, God. Kiernan. Hey. You don't know me at he all. So, the look right. on my face yeah. means less than just nothing to you. He look he at me. All look right. at me. Yeah. <laughs> 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 all right. All right. You're doing great. I love you, okay? All right. Thank you. You got a cute took us, okay? You're great. Do you go to strip joints? What? Do you go to strip joints? Uh, I have been before only twice. Mm. How much money you spend? Uh, twelve dollars the first time. Big Whoa! Spender, you're somebody rain. got uh, his yeah, dick sucked. <laughs> 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 I, don't, I shouldn't count this, but the second time I went with my, fr I, we were driving up and we got there. We tried to park, and then he goes, "Oh, it's like ten dollar parking." I'm like, "I think I can do that." And then he goes, "Oh, and it's a twenty dollar cover." So we just turned around. I didn't want to spend the third. <laughs> 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 God damn. <laughs> damn it. Damn it. Damn it. parking? Yeah. You paid for the parking? <laughs> no, I didn't, I, I didn't pay for the parking. Oh, he was okay. like, it's $10 parking and then the $20 cover. Uh, I love to see him arguing with the attendant for that $10 <laughs> refund. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, like, the strip clubs, they need to validate parking. Is yeah. Yeah. So that was your second time at the strip club? Are you counting that as a trip? <laughs> yeah, that doesn't count. So that does not count. That does not yeah, count. Does. Right. No. So the second time, so how much did you spend? <laughs> uh, it, uh, like 12, uh, not $12. It was more, it was, it was probably 21. Are you, are you confusing a strip club with like Chipotle or something <laughs> like that? Like, I really don't, I don't, it, I'm very cheap. How do, yeah. you, how do you spend only $12 instead of making it rain? What is that, scattered showers it or is, something yeah, like that? Yeah, it is that? scattered showers. It's like very, it's kind of sit in the back. You know the jumbos? Yes. Brown room, yeah, that's... that's so not a strip are you, club. Are you calling man. that a strip club? <laughs> yes, but I to am. to you, yes. To me, it is. Oh. I'm not going to do the hardcore stuff. Oh, the hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> you mean, like, topless? <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's a, like, I like jumbos. Yeah. Uh, it's a this, is, this is great. This is all the internet for my do mom you, to see. Do you jerk off to the bra section in JCPenney <laughs> catalogs? <laughs> 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 
No comment. I plead the Yeah, film. how many Claire's catalogs do you have in your drawer? <laughs> is that really a fear of yours that your mom's going to watch this? No, no. It's just what I... It's just a reaction I had. Mm. Just I said joke? it out loud. Y- y- what is your mom like? <laughs> <laughs> y- the your bad mom one, too. <laughs> what? Is your mom not like edgy jokes or something? Or Tell me uh, about it. No. She's actually she's more inappropriate than me. Really? What's yeah. the most inappropriate thing you've ever seen her do? Uh, oof. This is a tough question in front of these audience. Uh, no, stop oh. thinking about them. No. Yeah. My third childbirth, I gave it reverse cowgirl. <laughs> 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 you know, I don't have a story worth your time. Wait, wait hold on a mother. second. Uh, Felicity Watkins, when you say that you're, you gave birth reverse cowgirl, what exactly <laughs> do you mean by that? Because I'm pretty sure that, that's, that the doesn't make any sense. I had the doctor go underneath me <laughs> on the bed. <laughs> I straddled him, and he caught it and cradled in his arms. Pretty self-explanatory. All right. It was yeah. beautiful. What were yeah. you doing there? Well, she you was know, my w- just watching. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Kieran, what's the craziest thing you've ever done? You seem like a little goody two shoes. You don't want your mom to, uh, you don't want your mom to seem inappropriate. You don't want her to see you talk about strip clubs. What's the craziest thing you've ever uh, done? Uh, crazy, I, I don't, this Anything isn't crazy, it's fun. Really, really so I'm, I'm from Columbus, and we uh, we g- would get a raft on the 4th of July. They have, like, uh, the red, white, red and boom. Red, white, and boom. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, yeah, I shouldn't, you know, be talking about Columbus with Urban Meyer and all that stuff happening. But No, uh, yeah, you can't yeah. talk about yeah. it. Go Anyways, ahead. we were going down, we, like, would raft, and we would... Uh, this is a, such a bad story. It's a non-story. Well, when you put it like hey, that, yeah, it is, yeah, Kieran. Yeah. Jesus, get God to the good damn. shit. You're on the raft going on down the, the river, raft, then what happens? We would drink on the raft, and it was great. And we would watch the fireworks on the raft, Man, and it was illegal because we couldn't be in the out water. Of your mind. That wow. is so insane. <laughs> this turned into Bobcat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, anything else? <laughs> <That was laughs> anything else? No, Kieran. Yeah. You're good to go. There he goes. Kieran and Ben the worst part. Kiernan's in his head, man. Look at this little baby boy. All right, let's get, let's 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 see what happens here. Uh, let's see if it's uh, the comedians or the audience tonight. Um, we have a regular on this show. He's a genius. He's one of the top young rising comedians in the world. He's absolutely hysterical, and every week he writes and performs a new minute out to the internet, live on this show, live in front of this audience. He's one of all of our favorite rising comedians. Make some noise for the great and powerful Malcolm Hatchet. What's up, y'all? Uh, the first time I got with a girl, I think she enjoyed my car more than me. Because we was in the car and we was making out and shit. We was, and then she was like, just let the seat back and close your eyes. And I did. And I heard her, but I didn't feel anything. And I looked at her, and she was fucking my emergency brake. <laughs> and that shit turned me on. I was like, say my name. Say my name. She was like, uh, uh, Honda Core. Honda Core. <laughs> and then she called me the next day and said she was pregnant. I was like, hello? Oh, you're pregnant? Let's get Jake from State Farm on the other line. <laughs> I quit jobs because I don't really need the money. Like, you guys got to pay rent. I just got to have enough gas and money to move my car on the other side of the street <laughs> when they come around with street cleaning. cleaning. <laughs> Malcolm Hatchet. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Is that a true story? What? Some chick had sex with the e-brake? Well, we was, it was, we was fucking, but... She put it in there, too. <laughs> wow. Really? Oh, damn. <laughs> it was a long time ago. How thick was the e-brake, just said it Oh, uh, it, was, it, was, it was... It was a little one? A little dog, big. And how thick ones, was huh? the girl? <laughs> big, big girl. <laughs> yes, she was. Yeah. <laughs> My knee was all in there. <laughs> Shit. Damn. Car sex is not easy. <laughs> you she was... You were on... Uh, you were sitting shotgun or driver's seat? Driver's seat. I like when they hit it and the horn be beeping and shit. Wow. <laughs> I like to fuck white people up when they be walking the dog. And shit. 
<laughs> when they're walking their dog and yeah, shit? Yeah, at nighttime and shit. Damn, I think that's called rape, Malcolm. Oh. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Make them jump off the curb. <laughs> Where does the dog go when you're having sex with these white girls walking their dog? No, no, no. Like, if I'm in the car and then the horn beeps while somebody walks oh, by. Oh, I see. I said it retarded. I mean, stupid, <laughs> stupid. <laughs> oh, you said the N word, or R word. You said the R word. Wow, what's our Wrong Yoma. letter. <laughs> Got those letters mixed up, the forbidden letters. That nigga pregnant. Man, I meant R. <laughs> Joe pregnant. <laughs> do you have any fetishes? Like, do you like to be watched uh, while you're having sex or anything weird like that? Cuck holding? Hmm? Yeah, we've never asked you. Do you have anything... Uh I, I like to keep one sock on. <laughs> one sock on? <laughs> to wipe up after? Nah, because I got an ugly right foot. It's real ugly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what's wrong with Take your it right out. foot? Uh. Yeah, what's, what's so weird? What's so nah, weird? I'm just playing. I ain't got no fetishes. I get uh. butt ass neck and go to work. <laughs> <laughs> I get butt ass naked and go to work. That's the only work you go to. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Fuck Hope yeah. you have an abortion. <laughs> Miscarriage. Ma Malcolm, anything else crazy going on in life? How's everything else going? You Every have uh, recent uh, Kill Tony fame. You've been working, doing stand-up. I quit that shit, bro. You, you quit. You said you weren't going to quit this job. You're nah, gonna I'm going to try to get this restaurant job Thursday. Fuck that recycling shit. How long did that job last? Two what? days. Two days? <laughs> Mm. When I stopped posting, I wasn't there no more. Right. <laughs> Malcolm, have you thought of people Venmoing you to quit for them? Yeah. I should okay, have, cool. Uh, that'd be tight. Did you uh, get your car back? Yeah, I, I got for it back. Ron right. Funch has looked out. Oh, Ron did. Yeah. Ron, oh, Ron, Ron Funch. Ron, yeah. One of our favorite humans, Ron Funch. Hell yeah. Ron's Check tight. out his podcast, too. It's funny. It's funny. So, uh, oh, shit. What was I just going to fucking ask you? What were we just talking about? Right before the round punches. I don't know. My Socks. nipples are on fire right now, though. Uh, yeah. His right foot's all <laughs> fucked up. No. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> anyway. Um, all right, Malcolm. Well, that's fun. Anything else? Oh, I remember what it is now. What made you quit the recycling job? Oh, man. That's, it was like 6 to 2.30. And then it was 6 a.m. to 2.30? It was cool. It was just like, that shit stank, bro. And then it's like... <laughs> <laughs> the machine always broke and dust was flying in my eyes. I can't even see. Fuck that. Yeah. Fuck that. So what's this restaurant job that you're looking to get on Thursday? Uh, it's, it's somewhere in Burbank. Mm. Uh, 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 Barney's Beanery. How you say that? Oh, yeah. That's a good place. Yeah, I got an interview Thursday. That'd be tight. I want to be a server so I can talk to the people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> have, you ever, have you ever been a server before? <laughs> nah, I worked at McDonald's my first job. Oh, and, shit. And, yeah, and, oh, God. Yeah, Malcolm. So. I don't know. I don't know if you just want to jump right into Barney's Beanery in Burbank for yeah. a surfing job. Oh, Jesus. Wanna <laughs> do it. <laughs> do it. <laughs> You're literally going to quit uh, at your first table. Just, You're going to be like, how you guys doing? Fuck this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can just, picture it already. I just want to get like 10 minutes of material there. That's it. I quit. That makes sense. <laughs> I work for material. <laughs> you guys don't even have to pay me, man. I'm here for the bits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well. Bunch of fun stuff happening. Uh, I mean, you're working a lot, and I'm excited. Uh, why don't we give some breaking news right now while Malcolm's up here? Dun, dun, dun. Why don't we do it? Let's break this shit. And it will go like this. Little fun fact. We got information today. Flights have been bought and joining us in Lansing, Grand Rapids, and Detroit. Malcolm Hatchet, everybody. Yeah. Fucking way. Yep. Stand-up shows and Kill Tonys. Wow. Danny Brown. With We're Danny Brown Danny as well. Brown. And also, and Jeremiah Watkins and Joel Berg, Joel Jimenez will be there. What? So Michigan's getting the full regime. Damn. Five dudes in an SUV, three days around the state oh of Michigan. God. Hell yeah, that's tight. <laughs> Hell yeah. There he goes, Malcolm Hatchet, everybody. A brand new minute from Malcolm Hatchet. Let's get back to this bucket. We're going to have a posse. Yeah, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a crazy three days. We'd like to thank Spirit Airlines for uh, <laughs> making it all possible. You know the only flights, the only flights direct with no Wait. stops to Detroit is Spirit. No, no, no. We're going to Spirit. Yeah, no, we really are. Oh my God. No, yeah, absolutely. 
If you want to go United, you can feel free to take a uh, take a layover and an extra three hundred dollars per flight. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Did, did we, There's no direct flights into Detroit from LAX. Other than I don't Spirit. know if you guys have ever flown Spirit. Last time I was on Spirit Airlines, you, you know, like the, the little booklet that shows you if you got in a uh, plane crash. I open it up and spaghetti just falls out of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm never going. That's to what you're gonna look like if the plane crashes. Yeah. Jesus. I'm checking nine bags, and they're about $900 a piece, so it's going to equal out to the United flight, so here we go. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to be fine. <laughs> Pack light. <laughs> I pulled a name out of the bucket. Put your hands together for Karina Sagan. Sagoon? Karina. Karina. Here she comes from the farthest possible corner. The hot corner. Karina Sagan. Oh, we know this young lady. One more time for Karina, everyone. Fuck that mic stand. All right. My family is from Sri Lanka, which is this country below India. And us Sri Lankans, we hate to be called Indian, even though we're the same people. Uh, we eat the same food. We practice the same religion. According to all white people, we're Mexican. My grandpa was born there, and last month he had a heart attack, but he still went to church. Mm -hmm. Because uh, no amount of chest pain is going to keep me from praising Jesus. So, bro, you're about to praise Jesus with Jesus. Go to the hospital. He waited till the next day to call the doctor. Doctor, I'm still having these bloody chest pains. Doctor says, you need to come into the ER right away. He says, okay, but I just made a cup of tea, and I'll have my breakfast, and then I'll go. Doctor's like, if you don't come in now, you could die. My grandpa says, okay, well, I will not die on an empty stomach. <laughs> Even Jesus had a last supper. That's my tie, and thanks. Karina Sagan. Hi. Hello, welcome back. How are you? You were on a few weeks ago. I was. Uh, you and your boyfriend uh, from the OC, right? Inland Empire. Inland Empire, that's yeah. what it is. Yeah. Now, sort of coach me through what that joke was about. Is your is the doctor the Indian guy or is your dad the Indian guy? My grandpa was born in Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka. Yeah, he's the uh, Sri Lankan. Wait, I thought you were Mexican. <laughs> According to Tony, I'm Latina, is what he called me last time. What are you? Sri Lankan. Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Man. No, no Mexican, okay. no Latina. Not at, at all. Now, what part of Mexico is Sri Lanka? <laughs> is Down that in south. TJ? <laughs> and fi I'm Filipino as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. And you live in the Inland Empire. And That's the, perhaps the most Latina thing about you. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. All right. Well, how's life been going, Karina? Life is great. Yeah. Life is awesome. Uh -huh. Been going hard with comedy, and Ooh. working. Where do you, what do you work? What do you do? Uh, I work at Chili's. I'm the bartender. That's right. Wow, the That's bar. shaped like the bar. That's what you said last time. Oh, no, no. I didn't say that. I don't even get that. I didn't say that. No, Joel said it. Oh, that, that makes more and sense. And he, got, there you he go. got booed. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So uh, what else in life? Any fun facts about Karina? If there was a book called Karina Sagan, what oh. would be some interesting chapters? Oh, my gosh. Uh, my struggle to gain weight. Um, uh, that Aww. that I can relate 80. with you on. <laughs> Me too. All you need is come. <laughs> <laughs> I've, tri I've tried it. That's <laughs> not tried true. It. No, <laughs> that's not true. He tried a lot of it too. Oh, look, the crowd goes crazy. <laughs> you haters. I mean, wow. he, he was a vegan for a while, so I don't know why you always do that. <laughs> Brian loves making fun of veganism. Me too. Right, sure. Yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> I like steak. Yeah, I uh, bet you do like meat, that. don't you? Hell yeah. <laughs> Tell us more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is your boyfriend here tonight? He's here tonight. Oh. Yeah, wow. we've been coming every week. Karina, uh, you might be one of the first comedians I've ever up seen up here wearing a, uh, a pillowcase. <laughs> it's really an interesting choice. Bed, it's bath, like and a duvet. Is yeah. that what they call it? A little duvet? Is that a duvet? <laughs> Good question. Welcome to another episode of Is That a Duvet? <laughs> <laughs> is it? Yes. Wow, it is a duvet. There you go. And uh, that was another episode of Is That a Duvet? 
<laughs> how, how long have you had uh, braces? I've had it for a um, year and six months. I have six months left. Mm. Mm-hmm. So how old are you? I'm 28. Mm. Yeah. What, why the late braces? Um, I couldn't afford them. Mm. Treating before. yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was that or a boob job, and I thought teeth are probably... You fucked you up. Mm. Yeah, that's really the wrong <laughs> choice. <laughs> are you ever like, hey, my braces are up here? <laughs> Absolutely. You can't fuck the braces. Jesus. (laughs) What the hell? (laughs) Wow, that sound was epic. (laughs) Fuck. That's right. You can't fuck the braces. braces, Uh, Right. Red band always with the uh, always with the good strategic (laughs) knowledge, but of course. Red Band also says that 75% of all the blowjobs he has ever gotten are bad. They are. <laughs> <laughs> True. How many blowjobs have you had? <laughs> Two. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't divide by four, oh, dude. Oh, you math people. <laughs> Come oh, on. Oh, shit. <clears throat> Karina, uh, what's the first thing you're going to do? Do you have any big plans uh, to celebrate when you get your braces off? you going to do anything crazy like uh, <laughs> like uh, a... <laughs> <laughs> Red band, you're incorrigible. <laughs> uh, I really want to eat beef jerky. I love beef jerky, and I can't eat it right now. It's that must be a euphemism thing. for something. Yeah. Yeah. Can't wait yeah. to get that beef and jerky. And popcorn. What's your favorite flavor of a uh, jerky? Mm. <laughs> Egyptian kind. Uh. <laughs> Why? Why would that be the sound effect? <laughs> She's a bad schoolgirl. Oh, wow. Egyptian wait, jerky. Wait, that's not a flavor, is it? No. Um, oh. So what? <laughs> no, 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 I'm sorry. Uh, oh. Like spicy. Like oh, okay. spicy barbecue. Yeah. Mm. Good stuff. Oh, yeah. On the way to Vegas, alien jerky. It's like the spot. Yeah. Uh-huh. Wow, all the jerky fans came tonight. Yeah, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> one person <laughs> went crazy in the back. Oh, one person. <laughs> you could tell their mouth was full at the time mm. when they were. Yeah. Wow, what's different? Uh, what's uh, what's uh, different about alien jerky? You seem like you would eat illegal alien jerky. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Still Latina to me. Damn it. <laughs> uh, I did live in Downey for a while, so I kind of had to like. Get in with the cholitas a little bit. Got to fit in. Heck yeah. Did you say chalupas? <laughs> Get in with chalupas. the chalupas. Heck yeah. The old soft tortilla on the outside of a hard shell. <laughs> My favorite. What are these bugs that are up here? You really are Sri Lankan. <laughs> Ever since you came up here, there's little fruit flies. It's insane. I don't know what's going on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry, I opened my legs for a second. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Karina, you were up a few weeks ago. Another fun one here tonight. Congratulations. Thank there you. she goes. Yeah. One of the funniest people that wear duvets, Karina Sagan. She's on Twitter at Karina Deans. R I N A D E A N Z. Huh, what do you guys think? Should we go to the bucket one more time? <laughs> All right. Do it. Let's see what happens here. Mm. Okay. Put your hands together for Laura Santa Cruz. Laura Santa Cruz. Laura Santa Cruz. Here she comes. Hey. Oh, hell yeah. From the audience. Your own kind. Your final comedian of the night, Laura Santa Cruz, everyone. Hi, guys. So I've been in a relationship for a while. A while. I've been trying to spice it up in the bedroom a bit. So the other night, my husband was cooking us some dinner, and I put on these tiny little jelly bean shorts that I have. And I walked out into the living room, and I bent over the couch, and I looked back at him. Labia hanging out the back. (laughs) And he looks at me, he looks at my labia, he looks at me, and he's like, babe. Do you know the spinach is fucking going bad already? And I look back at him like, <laughs> pulled my jelly bean shorts out of my ass because I put them there. And then I started thinking to myself, well, he's already cooking dinner. I mean, back in the day, I used to have to put my finger in his butt and suck his dick. <laughs> for, for a free meal at Kyukaku, my favorite restaurant. And now, I don't have to do anything, so marriage fucking rocks. That's it. <laughs> wow, exactly one minute. 
And I'm guessing there's something I'm really hoping in my heart, and I'm going to take a guess here, that that's your first time ever on stage. Am I right? Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. Mm. You knew exactly when the minute was. Do you say your favorite restaurant is Giyu Kaku? Yes. Fucking unbelievable. I love I that love restaurant. It. I love it too. It's unbelievable. You've been there? <laughs> no. Oh, it's oh, great. I just see your it's enthusiasm so and I'm getting it's chapped. It's unbelievable. It's, it's, it's Best fucking happy incredible. hour ever. Yeah, I don't day drink, but uh, that's okay. Do I. Uh, I go there for the food. I Same. like your style. And you got some real genuine laughs, talking about real honest shit, because I think you do have a big labia. <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> when you said that, when you said that, I looked at you and I'm like, yup. Is this your man right here? Yes. Is that your guy? Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. I said When I said that she has a big labia, he went like this. Yeah. <laughs> and he's just waving the smell around. Fuck yeah. That thing must look like Karina Sagan's uh, duvet shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually. Wow. What is it he said about your vagina? Uh, rotten cabbage or... Well, uh, yes, what was it that I you didn't said? Hear. Something spinach? No, he, described uh, it he as was looking at me and he said the spinach is going bad. The spinach is going bad. Well, blow me down. That's <laughs> hot. <laughs> Oh my god. I prefer the roast beef is uh, rotting next time. It wasn't about my labia. It was it was he missed the point that I was trying to fuck him mm. and instead he told me the spinach was going bad. Oh, he oh. was oh. literally looking at spinach. We, oh. oh, not my labia. He was literally oh. looking at the spinach. Oh, we all thought you had a disgusting right. vagina yeah. for a second. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. That's oh. right. Old that tampon sucks. shoved in there or something. By the way, right. whenever you were doing your dirty talk with him, w did you say babe and then you said the word labia to him? <laughs> no, I just told you guys. Thank so you could see God. the full picture. I vomiting, and so did my baby inside my belly. <laughs> the baby oh, vomited? How, did that? Oh. <laughs> yeah. how did you? How do you know when a, the baby vomits? Uh, it's a different vibration than a kick. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes the umbilical cord has to hold the baby's hair when it, it's a whole thing. <laughs> so Laura Santa Cruz, uh, you wanted to try stand-up for a while? For a really long time, but it's... It's really scary, so I haven't wanted to. Cause well, you uh, you popped, unlike the uh, Norwegian uh, prison <laughs> fucker, you popped your cherry <laughs> here tonight. Aww. Uh, so how does it feel? Is it as scary as you thought it was going to be? Yeah, it's terrifying. You're in it I'm right scared. now. Wow. I got to say, that was really impressive for your yeah. first time on stage. Yeah. You were, that was great. <laughs> that was really good. Thank Re you. Yeah. Really awesome. Was was your first time everything like you dreamed for? Three pregnant women waiting to hear? <laughs> <your> yes, <laughs> it was amazing. You, you seem pretty dirty. Are you uh, are you dirty in real life? Wait a like second. What the Whoa. fuck? I what? just want to know what her cam page She's got rotten is. spinach what? vagina, man. Yeah, I What's am dirty? really dirty. Um, when I moved out here nine years ago, I actually started out writing sexual parodies. Whoa. Which is one of my favorite things to do. How was it? What's uh, rear parody? factor. I mean, what, how does the parody play into the sex? The rear factor. Um, they're just all about dick and balls. and. Oh, <laughs> like gags. Like gags. I'm like, okay, I'm not going to. You guys. <laughs> there's something oh, there. There's yeah. something there. Is that, um, yeah. what, what do you mean? Can you give us an example? Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I hate big nuts and I cannot lie. Mm. You other brothers can't deny. But when a guy walks in with an itty bitty dick and a big bulge in your grin, you get <laughs> sick. Want to pull out and suck, but you notice that sack was fucked. Then red bum sure are glaring. I'm sick and I can't stop staring. Oh, hell no. I don't want to get with ya. I want to cuss and hit ya. My homegirls try to warn me, but I ignored it because I was so freaking horny. Ooh, got that faux skin hanging all down your pants. <laughs> Circumcise it, resize it, or you ain't getting up inside this. What? Wow. What? What did we just walk into? Wow. Wow. Where do you I am. That? Look at that. She just shook her labias. Yeah. I, uh, Whoa. Tony. Wait, where? Oh where? Okay. That's <laughs> how I shake my labia. I, oh, my God. Yes, Joel. Just, I absolutely hated it until <laughs> until I heard foreskin. Then I was in. You got, you got me. <laughs> wow. Where have you, you won me over that? with that? Um, I performed that at, what's the, what was it called on Sunset? Your Charlie labia Chaplin's performs at Flappers. No. <laughs> 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 Oh my. Oh, wow. Wow. 
Is that true? Did you dance? Is no, no, oh. no. I performed that song at Charlie Chaplin's old house. What is it called? Oh, yeah. Oh, I know. What the you're Libertine? Yeah. Yes. 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 Uh, and I burned a whole lot of bridges doing that. You really? did? Why? What a happened? A lot of big nutted gentlemen there. <laughs> 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 I have big nuts. I'm all of y'all. <laughs> I'll have none of that big nut humor. No, when you, when you bomb at the weird. Charlie Chaplin house, is it extra silent? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Actually, yes. Yeah, you really dropped the balls on that one. Does your boy- how, well, Tell me about your boyfriend's nuts, if you uh, will <laughs> indulge true. us. You uh, hate big nice. nuts so much. Well, tell us about this him. gentleman's nuts right here. You they married look, him? I married they, him. They look wow. hairy. So I'm not okay. going to lie, man. <laughs> I, like how, I like how you threw him underneath the bus and told everyone he liked the finger in his butthole. <laughs> yeah. True, huh? oh, yeah. Finger butthole guy. <laughs> tell me how many... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Is it little yeah. finger foam? Good question. Are you hitch? Oh. Whoa! Really? For those of you listening to the podcast, this is a <laughs> tough looking. Uh, he's either he's either Mexican or Sri Lankan. I can't tell anymore. <laughs> Horatio Sands. But he's got he's got tattoos. Looks like a tough guy. Full beard, black T-shirt. Thumb tough. right up the ass, huh, dude? He's Hawaiian. Wow, yeah. that's incredible. Look at you, you dirty bastard. <laughs> mm. Was that whose idea was that? Mine. Ah, all right. Wow. And you're just down. You're like, ah, fuck it. <laughs> Do you request it now that she's kind of popped your anal cherry? Oh, yeah. he does. Cowabunga, dude, oh right? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Yep. Hmm. Takes a real. What else? I, I feel like they are up to some other shenanigans. Yeah, does he pick bed. you up like a bowling like ball or anything? Like I anything? Mean, not yet. Once you, once you pop a finger in the ass, that's only the beginning, right, of a rabbit hole yeah. that uh, I feel you guys are uh, tumbling down <laughs> as we speak. <laughs> I that think I read that as a bumper sticker once. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you know it's true love with a Mexican couple when she can put her finger in his fruit basket like that. And uh, all right, wow, this really isn't this really isn't my episode tonight. <laughs> it's really anyway. Uh, um, so. I mean, that is interesting. You talked about big labias. You talked about hmm. how your husband wants a uh, uh, finger in his butt during blowjobs. Uh, is there anything else crazy that you're willing to share with us? We're coming around the corner here on the final moments of the show. Um, I wouldn't mind one last big breakthrough moment. I'm a hmm. waxing specialist. I specialize in vaginas. And you Brazilians. have a big labia. That's crazy. Yeah. Do you All tuck it in like labias. a magician's scarf oh. or something All when you're at work? Of labias. Wait, what? What do you do with, with vaginas? I wax vaginas. That's what you do Whoa. professionally. Do you, is there one vagina that stands out where you're like, wow, yeah. that was fucked? Tell me about that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Go ahead. Well, there was, you guys had a show, I think it was from where you were from, Tony, and some guy was talking about toilet paper in the vagina. That was mm. Cleveland, Ohio, yep. I can relate with that guy as well. Um, because Go on. A lot of people don't shower before they come oh, and no. fucking get their vaginas waxed. And so we're Ladies, please take uh. a fucking shower before you come get your vagina waxed so and you have somebody's face in there like this. <laughs> so when ridiculous. It, when, when it stinks that bad, can you tell when you enter the room? I or just put powder it? all over their vagina. Mm-hmm. Just oh, like sprinkling one, that one shit One time I got my vagina waxed while I was pregnant, ripped the baby right out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Man, that's fucking crazy. Hmm. It sucks. Does it fill the whole room? Like, do you smell it? Oh, like, yeah. You're about I to like open the door. You're like, ooh, it's going to be a tough <laughs> one. Uh, you're like, yeah, I'm, I'm like craving roast beef. I don't know why. It Can they sucks. tell? Can they tell that you're suffering? Or you I'm play sure. Cool? You're like, damn, lady, your vagina stinks. I will know. I just tell them now, like, next time, can you please exfoliate? Meaning, can oh. you please take a shower <laughs> before wow. you come? That translates to listen, you dirty bitch. <laughs> 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 exactly. Gotcha. Were they? Are they offended when? when <laughs> no, they're really embarrassed. Right. So I try to be very um, sensitive about it. Listen. I hate to bring this up, but your vagina is the worst fucking thing <laughs> I've ever encountered in my life. Basically. You ever had any husbands thank you? Yes, After actually. Like really? A lot of, uh, yeah, a lot of husbands come in with their ladies. Hmm. Boyfriend. Cool. Okay, <laughs> bye. And they drop them off. They're like, take this beast <laughs> off my hand. Yeah. <laughs> A Jeremiah's pubes are so long that they got us kicked off YouTube a couple <laughs> weeks ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Would you be willing to uh, Would you be willing to wax uh, Jeremiah's pubes maybe next week on the show? Um, yeah. Behind I don't a think curtain. That's gonna help with YouTube, by the way. Oh no, <laughs> we, we'll have a little curtain, you know. Yeah. Well, yeah. We'll, we'll use uh, We'll use what's her name's shirt. <laughs> Karina. By the way, the look that Jeremiah gave me after I pitched that idea was just like, <laughs> why would you ever say that, you piece of shit, Tony? It's a man that loves his pubes. Right he really there. does. If you're wondering what his pubes look like, you could just look at the wig that's on his head right now. <laughs> Basically the exact same thing. Aww. I'll let somebody wax my pubes. I don't care. Oh! <laughs> I can do that for you. Whoa, the neons are going crazy. <laughs> I love how sometimes the timing of the sound effects and neons and shit time off. It's so ridiculous. Okay. It all seems like it's connected. Um, I'll tell you this. Uh... Laura Santa Cruz for a first time. That was one of my favorite first times ever. Uh, your delivery, you know, clearly first time ask, but you were very honest. You were very revealing. You weren't shy at all. You're putting yourself out there. I think you, I think you sort of get it. So good luck and congratulations with the future. <laughs> Laura Santa Cruz, everybody. She's on Twitter at O oh, Santa Cruz. O H S A N T A C R U Z. And that is tonight's show. How about you make some noise for Ethan and Ela, everybody? The H3 podcast, available absolutely everywhere. Hey, look at the drawing from Ryan J. E. Belt. Look Whoa, how cool that wait. is. He Who drew tonight's that? episode so while cool. it was happening. He was oh, sitting well, right there the whole time. How freaking cool. Thank you can you. get uh, your Ryan J. E. Belt prints of every show, ryanjebelt.com. And, uh, and there's a poster available, uh, our annual poster. There's a new one for the five years still available. Mm -hmm. And uh, two different seasons of Kill Tony available on the poster. Anything else uh, from you guys? Anything you want to... Uh, that's it. Thanks for having us on. It was Heck really yeah. fun. Hey, Thank get, you the, so much. get the H3 merch. I'm wearing oh, yeah. some of it Thanks. right now. Yeah, look at this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love it. Yeah. I need to get some of that. Yeah. Uh, that's Thanks, at H3. Yeah. H3 podcast available on yeah. YouTube and Hell streaming yeah. apps everywhere. Yes. Hell yeah. Thank you. Indeed. Jeremiah Watkins was amazing tonight. How about you make some noise for Felicity Watkins, everyone? So much fun stuff. He's got a great podcast called Jeremiah Wonders. Yes, Brody Stevens is the guest this week, ladies and gentlemen. Follow me on social media, at Jeremiah Stand Up, and uh, there's some new Reagan and Watkins music videos dropping very soon. Hey, wait, are, are we in one of those videos? Maybe? Well, we'll tell them now, yeah. <laughs> wow. Red Band, the, uh, the leak master tonight. Uh, Chroma Chris was here tonight, silent but deadly. Uh, Chroma, what did you think about tonight's episode? I think you really delivered tonight, Tony. There you go. Oh, my God. How does he come up with these? <laughs> <laughs> how about some noise for Joel Berg, Joel Jimenez, everyone, huh? Uh, thank you to Phoenix for coming out and seeing me, Jeremiah, Pat. Thank you guys for doing the show. Uh, that's it. Thank you guys for coming. We're looking for sponsors. Hit us up. The band. Sponsor them. You guys are going to get your own sponsors? Yeah. yeah. If you own a dealership, <laughs> we get a, give us cars for the week. Whatever. We're going uh, to read our own <laughs> 10 minutes of copy at the beginning of the podcast. It's going to be great. I love it. Heck yeah. That's great. He just turned into Trump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so much fun stuff. Ziprecruiter.com slash Kill Tony and uh, InfiniteCBD.com and for him's dot com slash kill tony you could get all those things and be a real winner so much fun stuff happening go check out all the tour dates that are coming up and uh thank you so much everybody thank you live audience see you guys <laughs>